Good day listeners. Today's discussion is about reflecting on the importance of motivation in education. The most crucial element in learning is learner motivation. 1. How do we know if a learner is motivated? 2. What kinds of factors motivate learners? 3. How can we increase and sustain learner motivation? 4. How is learning affected by a lack of motivation? Now, let us know what is motivation in education? The term, motivation, is derived from the Latin verb, movere, it's what keeps us moving. It is defined as our enthusiasm for doing something. It is the, why, behind every action. The, reasons, for acting or behaving in a particular way. It helps us to set a goal and reach it. What motivates you? Intrinsic motivation. An inner drive to engage in an activity for its own sake because it is interesting and satisfying in itself. Extrinsic motivation. A drive to engage in an activity because a reward to engage in the activity or a punishment for not engaging. For the intrinsic motivation, I have here 27 ideas to encourage intrinsic motivation in your students. 1. Share. Share your story with your students. 2. Incorporate. Incorporate the student in the learning experience. 3. Spark. Spark curiosity in the subject matter. 4. Eliminate. Experiment with eliminating extrinsic rewards. 5. Free. Create a lesson that is free of grades. 6. Tap. Ask students what motivates them to play games or sports. Tap into those motivators. 7. Challenge. Challenge the students to find a new solution to an old problem. 8. Encourage. Encourage creative ways to accomplish the same task. 9. Group. Use teams or groups. 10. Praise. Praise students for meaningful accomplishments. 11. Teach. Practice what you teach. 12. Play. Play a game that teaches the same principles. 13. Discover. Discover your passion. 14. Discover. Discover your students' passions. 15. Allow. Allow time for the process. 16. Purpose. Demonstrate, show, describe, and engage with a purpose. 17. Energize. Add energy to what you are doing. 18. Create. Create a new atmosphere for creativity and intrinsic behavior. 19. Milestones. Collectively set milestones to reach. Display them. 20. Skill. Create multiple skill assessments that students choose to take. 21. Measure. Allow students to measure progress throughout. 22. Trust. Create a trusting atmosphere. 23. Vision. Create a class vision. 24. Service. Engage in community service. 25. Choice. Let students have choices in what they do, how they do it, and who assesses. 26. Share. Share with others what is happening in the classroom. 27. Live. Incorporate the student's life and story into the classroom. We have three strategies on motivating students. Empower students with knowledge, prioritize accessibility, and make learning relatable. To empower students with knowledge, make sure that students understand how they can do better, that they know where they went wrong and how to improve. To prioritize accessibility, remember, no one is left behind, ethos. School should aim to foster a culture of acceptance and equality, where neurodiversity is celebrated and respected. To make learning relatable, students need to feel the value in what they are learning. Make their studies purposeful, engaging and relevant to their futures. Most importantly have a growth mindset. What kind of mindset do you have? Growth mindset or fixed mindset? In growth mindset, I can learn anything I want to. When I'm frustrated, I persevere. I want to challenge myself. When I fail, I learn. Tell me I try hard. If you succeed, I'm inspired. My effort and attitude determine everything. In fixed mindset, I'm either good at it, or I'm not. When I'm frustrated, I give up. I don't like to be challenged. When I fail, I'm no good. Tell me I'm smart. If you succeed, I feel threatened. My abilities determine everything. There is a quote by Carol Dweck saying, when educators create a growth mindset environment, equality can happen. Thank you for listening.